Now, heated debates break out on Capitol Hill as Democrats struggle to present a compelling case for impeachment. One America's Christian Rose has more. Full-scale partisan warfare breaks out on the first day of open hearings on impeachment Wednesday as Democrats and Republican lawmakers express their polarized views of the matter. Following the testimonies from former and current U.S. diplomats, House Republicans say their Democrat peers are failing to make the case for impeachment. They say no evidence has been presented so far to prove that President Trump pressured Ukraine for political purposes at home. The two guys on the call have both been very clear. No pressure, no pushing, no, no linkage to investigations. Never once did President Zelensky announce that he was going to start any type of investigation into Burisma or Biden's. Never once. And yet the aid got released. So the facts are the facts. For their part, Democrats accuse their political opponents of, quote, ignoring the facts. Party officials believe the president withheld military aid from Ukraine to gain leverage and reopen that nation's investigations into Joe and Hunter Biden and their corrupt dealings. However, transcripts of the July phone call shows President Trump was asking about cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike and a probe into alleged meddling in the 2016 election. Where is the impeachable offense in that call? Are either of you here today to assert there was an impeachable offense in that call? Shout it out. Anyone? Over the past two years, Ukraine has reportedly investigated at least one case of corruption and money laundering that involved energy company Burisma and Hunter Biden. Ukrainian investigators allege the only reason Biden was on Burisma board was to protect the company from anti-corruption scrutiny, which eventually happened when Joe Biden forced Ukraine's top prosecutor to resign in 2016. In February of 2015, I raised my concern that Hunter Biden's status as a board member could create the perception of a conflict of interests. U.S. diplomats say battling corruption in Ukraine falls in line with long-standing U.S. policy goals in that country. This objective was established by the State Department long before President Trump took office in 2017, which also raises a question of how could the president pressure Ukraine to do something it had already committed to. There are and always have been conditionality placed on our sovereign loan guarantees for Ukraine. Conditions include anti-corruption reforms, as well as meeting larger stability goals and social safety nets. Some say it may have been the Biden's actions that eroded U.S. national interest in the first place, along with the trust and understanding between the U.S. and Ukraine. Meanwhile, the impeachment hearings are set to continue over the coming few days, extending into the next week. There was no quid pro quo, pure and simple. Christian Rose, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.